Hello everyone, this is Dragonfly. Welcome back to a, another mission editor tutorial in DCS World. And uh, this is video number eight. And in this video, we'll be building our sixth mission in the, uh, the scenario that we've been developing. And this, the concept premise for that is we're going to provide on-call CAS from an orbit above FARP Dallas. Contact Warhorse, the TACC, on COM2 channel 266 when established in the orbit. Enemy radio chatter indicates an attack on a UN uh, checkpoint east of SAM Treaty is imminent. Requested loadout uh, is uh, two CB rock eyes, laser guided rockets, a T-pod, and uh, incendiary rounds in the gun, high explosive rounds in the gun. Okay, so we'll come out of that and back into the mission editor and I'll show you how we built that. So first we'll go over to the uh, triggers. The green triggers are the ones we use for this mission about five triggers and well, six triggers because this is a mission fail trigger here. The first trigger starts the mission and it's one we've been using all along in this series, which I'll put a, I put a label in as I always do, just it helps, it, it keeps, helps me keep track of things and what's going on. And the label is activate mission six via COM2 and that sets flag 266. The condition that we will be using is X colon cockpit parameter equal to the parameter that we're using is uh, one we've used uh, a lot in the past, com2 underscore freak, and the value will be 266. So when we set COM2 to 266, it will turn on a flag, flag on, flag 266. It'll play an audio cue, our standard one that I've shown you in the past. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. And it'll send out a message, text message, to the Blue Coalition. Message to Coalition is the action, blue, the text, Dragonfly, Warhorse, attack on a UN checkpoint is imminent. Coordinates of the checkpoint are, and I put the coordinates for the checkpoint so that you'd be able to watch it and help monitor the situation. Request you monitor the area for potential enemy activity. Continue orbiting and wait for further instructions. That'll be on the screen for 30 seconds. Actually, I'll probably make that a little higher. Let's make it 60. And uh, that message will start six seconds after um, the action starts. So that's how the mission starts via the COM2 radio. And on this one, I actually put the uh, label wrong on this one. That actually is just a message from the TACC. And that happens 45 seconds after you start the mission. That gives you a, a, just a little bit of a delay in there to get situated. So time since flag, time since the flag 266, 45 seconds, these two actions or this action will occur. We get an audio cue and we get a text message, message to Coalition Blue. Dragonfly Warhorse, local informants have reported a red truck column is loading troops on the eastern alert pad of Katezi Air Base. The troops are deploying for an attack on the UN checkpoint at the bridge east of Samtridia. 
interdict the column before they reach their deployment area. And that'll be on the screen for 30 seconds. And I, again, I just put a start delay in at sec six seconds, give time for the audio cue to play. But that one was put in there to basically show you uh, what the root of uh, the column is going to be. So let's, let's go and I'll put the column in and show you how I did that. This is the entire area of, of the, the attack for mission six. This is the uh, column right here on this Eastern alert pad of Katazi. And this over here is the UN checkpoint. Now the UN checkpoint was just uh, some troops and some trucks. Okay, that's all. I just put those in there. I think I had about uh, I think about ten units there. Three, six, nine. Yeah, about ten units. Now the enemy truck column is composed of the first unit I had as a APC, a BTR-80. The second unit, I went ahead and put a SAM in there to make it a little bit more difficult, an SA-9 Strela. And then the other units are all trucks. Okay, so five units and uh, the route that I had them driving is in the white line here if you can see that, which basically goes along this road north of uh, Katazi and all the way over to the bridge. Okay, now, at, uh, I, I went ahead and had these spawn at mission start. I didn't do them as late activation. You could do it either way. Late activation, though, you just remember that you have to have a trigger to spawn them. But without, if you don't put a trigger or late activation in, then they will spawn at mission start. So the first point in the route, the starting point, I did put an advanced waypoint action for a hold. Okay, perform task. The action was hold. What stops that condition for them to hold is when the mission starts, when you put 266 in the radio. Because if you don't do that, as soon as the mission starts, they'll, they'll go on their merry way. And before you can even get off the ground, they'll be over here attacking the UN checkpoint, which you really don't want that. I want to give you a little bit of time to get off the ground or to uh, be in the orbit before they start. Because the way I built the route of uh, the, uh, the driving route, if I can get it to pick it here, select it. Um, it'll take them about 18 minutes to get over there, which seemed to me a, a good time for you to be able to try and destroy them. Okay. Now, I did put an extra, a couple extra points in here. At point one, I put here by, uh, looks like base ops, up north of uh, base ops. And my logic was that the column was going to stop here and pick up a few more troops. So I actually put an advanced waypoint action in at point one for another hold. Okay. And this gives you some uh, leeway you, you, so that you can adjust the timing of the mission to uh, give you enough time to attack the column or you know, give, give you more or give you less time. So the stop condition on that hold is user flag 67 on. And what user flag 67 was, was this trigger. And I put it in as a label troop marshal time delay. And it's just a time sense flag type. 
and it's time since flag 266, which is the start of the mission. And I put in 720 seconds, which is 12 minutes. So basically what I'm saying is that when the uh, mission starts, the uh, column will move to point one and stay there until 12 minutes after you've started the mission. And then they'll move on to the bridge to attack the UN column, the UN checkpoint. Okay, so the time sense flag, 12 minutes, it just turns on a flag, and I just use 67, uh, gives you an audio cue, and, and then the TAC will s send you a message, TACC will send you a message, message to coalition, blue coalition, red reinforcements are moving towards the UN checkpoint, and I just left that on for 20 seconds with a start delay of three seconds. Okay, so 12 minutes after the start of the mission, they start moving down the road to, the near, to their next point, which is point two here. But before I tell you about that, I want to tell you about this uh, trigger zone here. This red troop deployment zone is what I've called it. I created it, just created a trigger zone. And uh, in this case, I'll just show you. Red troop deployment zone, and it's uh, got a radius of about 92 uh, meters. And uh, if you, if you remember, I'll just I'll just show you real quick how to make a trigger zone. You click on the create trigger zone wherever you want it. put it down and then basically put the radius if you want a circular zone. And uh, we'll just say uh, like like so. And then you, you just name it, whatever you want to name it. Okay, well, let's get rid of that one. Go back to the trigger zone list and just pick out this one. Uh, make sure it's highlighted and hit delete. Okay. Now, so when this deployment zone is penetrated, it, the action that I had it, uh, or I'm going to have it do, is it's going to unload a bunch of troops. Uh, not a bunch, but about, I think uh, well, I'll show you in here in a second. Uh, some troops to attack the UN checkpoint. So then, in addition to the APC, if you haven't killed it yet, then you're going to have a few troops that are going to try to overrun the UN ch checkpoint. And I think I have those hidden right now. So I need to look for them here real quick. And I'm going to take off the hidden because right now I have them hidden on the map, hidden on the planner, and late activation. So let me just get take those off so you can see them. So when the column gets to point two, it's it, it, these troops, which are basically uh, just standard troops. And I also put a, uh, a man pad in there. So it's going to make things a little more difficult if they, they actually get to this deployment zone. Okay. And as you can see, these are all infantry, random skill levels, and uh, infantry, AKA 74 Russian version one, version two, just whatever type of entry you want to put in there. 
And I also put a uh, little down here um, on the waypoints, it's their route that they will be using to um, attack the UN checkpoint. Uh, I basically put uh, them going straight to the uh, UN checkpoint here, this DP. But at their start point, they're going to go into a line abreast formation. So basically, they'll spread themselves out and then they'll start running towards the uh, UN checkpoint. Okay. The only advanced action for this group that I put in was for them to attack a group, perform tasks, perform task, attack group. And the group they're going to attack is the UN checkpoint. And I'll show you what's going to activate them here, the trigger that activates them here in just a second. But the, co the column, when it reaches point two, I also put in an advanced waypoint for them to attack the group. UN checkpoint. Now their final point is also going to be in the middle of the UN checkpoint. So they're, they're going to uh, continue to drive and, and shoot and fire and try to overrun these guys is what I'm anticipating is going to happen. Okay, so let's go back over to the triggers. Okay, we did the troop marshal delay. This trigger is what activates the uh, the troops, the red troops when they get in near the bridge. Red forces attack checkpoint is what I called this one, set flag 68. So when part of the co coalition is in the zone, the red co uh, coalition is in the red troop deployment trigger zone that I showed you. When basically when any of them get in there, that's the column. Then it will group activate the red troop reinforcements, which was the name of the red troops that I, the group that I had, uh, that I just showed you. It'll play an audio cue and then it'll play a message. Red forces have begun their attack on the UN checkpoint, provide support as able. So then you can do some CAS uh, missions there if you haven't uh, killed the column already. Okay, the next trigger is the success trigger. For mission six success, basically red force is dead, set flags 506. If you kill the entire column, group dead, red reinforcement column, that's the trucks and the APC and the uh, SAM, then uh, the mission will be successful. Or if, uh, the flag is true 68, that's if the um, column reaches the bridge and deploys the troops. And if that group, the red troop reinforcements are alive less than 40%, and I just picked that arbitrarily. I just figured, hey, if you, you, know, you lose 60% of your forces, you're probably gonna retreat. And if the APC is dead, because that APC can take out a bunch of a bunch of these units pretty quick. So, if the troops have deployed, but if they've gotten uh, killed down to 40% and the APC is dead, then it th then I th consider that a successful mission. It'll turn on flag 506, play a sound, and then the message to coalition blue. Dragonfly Warhorse, red intercepted radio traffic indicates they are calling off the attack on the UN. Great job, return to base your discretion. Okay, then the last trigger is a mission fail trigger. If mission six fails, the UN checkpoint is overrun, 
then the condition for that is if the UN group is alive less than 40%, group alive less than, the UN checkpoint, 40%, then it will uh, play an audio cue and then a message, Dragonfly Warhorse, the UN reports that their checkpoint, checkpoint position has been overrun, mission failed. Okay. And oh, I think we've gone through all the triggers on that particular mission. And we should be flying that one in the next uh, few days. And uh, we'll show you how that works. Well, thanks again for being here for another mission build. And uh, everybody have a great day and we'll see you next time. Dragonfly out.